Hello everyone, my name is Amanda, welcome to my channel, and today I'm doing a full face of rare beauty. I've been wanting to do this video for so long and I'm finally getting around to it. I'm so excited to give you my honest reviews of all of these different products. There are some products that I genuinely just didn't like, but there are a lot of them that I did really like, so you're going to get a little bit of everything. I'm being completely open and honest with you guys. This video is not sponsored, but anyways, before we get into the video, you guys don't forget to give this a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and let's get right into it. First things first, obviously we have to prep the skin. So I'm going in with one of my favorite Rare Beauty products actually. This is their Illuminating Primer. And this primer gives such a beautiful pearlescent glow to the face. It kind of reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, except this doesn't have like a tint to it. It's just very plain. It goes on kind of sheer, transparent, but it gives your skin a gorgeous glow. I'm just going to apply that to my face with my fingers. I like to apply this pretty generously, especially because my skin is super dry and I find this primer to be quite hydrating, but I just love the glow. I think it's very natural looking, but as you can see, at least in my opinion, it does kind of look like that Hollywood Flawless Filter. Very pearlescent, very soft, but again, this doesn't have a tint or anything like that, so your skin looks very natural. Okay, so moving on to foundation, I will preface this part by saying that these are going to be too dark for me. These are definitely in my more tan summer shades, but I'm wearing this turtleneck, so honestly, how would they know? Who's gonna know? So I'm going in with the shade 180W, and I'm just gonna apply a thin layer all over my face. I actually really like this doe foot applicator. And then using a Tenille Jai base brush, I'm just gonna buff that out. And you really have to shake this very well beforehand because this consistency is very liquidy and it's very easy for the components within it to kind of separate. So shake it really well. It's very, very thin in consistency. So as you can see, the coverage isn't too heavy. They kind of remind me of the Kosas Tinted Oil Foundations. Okay, so I will be honest about this foundation. I really wanted to give it another shot today. Obviously, it is not the perfect shade for me. However, I am not the biggest fan of this foundation. Today, when I applied it, it is kind of breaking up that primer underneath and it is kind of just reacting not so great. It's kind of balling and flaking off a little bit of that primer. It doesn't blend super easily. Again, the shade not being my correct shade doesn't help that, but I just like, I'm not loving really anything about this foundation. I think their tinted moisturizer is a lot nicer of a formula. I actually really like that one. The shade I have in that one is even darker than this. So I did want to just give this one another shot, but I can't say I'm a huge fan of this foundation. I think I'm gonna add some warmth to the skin. I'm gonna go in with their cream bronzer stick. This is in the shade Happy Soul. And everybody seems to love this product, but again, this is just another one of those products that I haven't been able to really fall in love with, but today I really am genuinely giving it another chance, especially since I saw Alex Earl's makeup routine on TikTok. She uses this and it just looks so good on her, so I just want that effect for me, so let's just try it out. I'm going to apply it on the forehead as well. So this side is with the bronzer, this side is without. As you can see, it added some nice warmth to the face. It blended out easily and I like the size of it. It really just applies very nicely. I will say I'm not a huge fan of the tone. I just don't typically reach for something so warm for me. I think it's just a tone thing, but if you like a very warm bronzer stick, I think you'd like this. If you self tan very often, if you're a bit more tan than me, I'm just, I'm very fair. So when I use warm products like this, it can just look a little off. So for that reason, I'm not crazy about this cream bronzer the way everyone else is. But I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to this side as well. <sighs> I'm so conflicted. I honestly think the way this looks is fine. It's nice. The thing is, I can really see how people love this product. Yeah, it's just for me, it's really down to the color of it. I'm not really a huge fan of this color on me, but it's the lightest shade the last time I checked, so I just really don't feel like there's a great shade for me. Controversial. Anyways, moving on to the real controversial product, I'm gonna go in with blush. 
So everybody knows the Rare Beauty liquid blushes and how pigmented they are. Oh my gosh, they're so pigmented, especially the matte versions, especially they are like a little less forgiving than the dewy versions. But however, I will say I do enjoy these blushes and I'm going in with the shade Joy today, which is a really pretty peachy pinky blush. And this is the dewy formula. So you'll see, I only need a tiny, tiny amount of product, but this does blend out a little bit nicer than the matte formulas. So I will say I prefer the dewy formulas personally. And I'm blending that out with the Rare Beauty blush brush. And that's what that looks like with the tiniest little amount. You can see a little bit goes a long ways. This color is so pretty. I just love it so much, but I do feel like I can build this up just a little bit more. I'm gonna show you guys how less is more. Trust me, if you haven't tried these blushes before, less is more. It is so much easier to add a little bit more than to apply too much. I've been there, I've applied too much and it's just a nightmare. So always wipe off the excess product and then just use the tiniest little amount. Oh, I am loving the way this looks. Very lifted up high on the cheek. This is giving very like rosy, kind of sun-kissed, but very peachy vibes. I have been loving peach lately. Oh my goodness, I just bury me in everything peach. Peach on the lips, peach on the eyes, peach on the cheeks. Love it. So that's a blush on the cheeks. I personally really like it, but these have definitely been controversial because of how pigmented they are. I've had people ask me for my advice on how to use these because they told me they literally felt like they couldn't use it because it was too pigmented. If you are experiencing that, I do have a tip for you. What I do with the matte formulas I just take it and put it on the back of my hand like this. And then what I'll do is I'll take my brush and I will just pick up a tiny little bit of that product just on the end of my brush. And you can kind of control how much product you put on more with this. I don't really wanna to add too much more, but you can see that's just a very sheer layer, way more forgiving than applying it straight from the product. And then just blending it out so easy. All right, moving right along, I'm using their eye brightener. So this is in my actual shade that I would use on a regular basis. This is in the shade light and it has this really cool metal applicator that when you apply it under your eyes, it's very cooling and just a very refreshing feeling. I haven't seen many concealers that have the metal component like this, but I'm just going in with a very light layer of this just to brighten up my under eyes a little bit. And I'm using this little Rare Beauty brush to blend that out. I'm going to list all of the brushes and every product I use down in the description. So my under eyes look nice and bright. This consistency is so thin and it really doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything underneath my eyes. I don't feel like I would wear this all on its own just because it is so sheer. I do like to have a little bit more coverage underneath my eyes. However, on a no makeup makeup day or a very thin layer under concealer, like what I'm about to do, this is a really beautiful product. However, you need to set this down with powder after you either apply concealer on top of it or even on its own because on me, this does crease. I'm gonna go ahead and go on top with a little bit of their concealer. I'm using the shade 180W. I'm just applying it how I normally do. I'm going all over the center points of my face and then I'm gonna blend that out with that exact same brush from Rare Beauty. That concealer actually applied really nice. I do like their concealer. One thing I will say about it is, again, kind of all the base products have this in common. There's kind of immediate creasing if you don't set it, which honestly isn't a deal breaker for me. I do like to set my products really well. So with that being said, we're gonna go in with the Rare Beauty setting powder. I'm using the shade light. I'm gonna dump out a little bit into the cap about that much. I'm gonna have my concealer brush on deck to pat out any lines, but I'm gonna take my powder puff and really coat that with that powder. Once I have a good amount of product on there, I'm just gonna take it and kind of like push all the product in to the powder puff on the back of my hand. And then I'm just gonna double check that I don't have any creasing happening. I just kind of pat that out with my concealer brush here. Once that's done, we are going to really just push that powder into the under eyes and set it really well. Okay, immediately I think that looks 10 times better. I love the way it's mattifying, but it's not too like drying or cakey looking. It looks very natural and soft. I'm just gonna go ahead and set the rest of the face now. 
All right, so we're all set. I think the base is actually looking really good. That powder is really pretty, actually. I think it's a very nice, soft, blurring powder, and I really like that it's kind of a little bit pinky. It just is very nice on the skin. I like it. Sticking with the peachy pinky vibes, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of highlighter now. I'm using their Silky Touch Highlighter in the shade Mesmerize, and as you can see, this is just a beautiful kind of warm pinky shade. My favorite shade is actually Enlighten, but sadly I broke it, and now I've been reaching for this one, which is also really pretty, but the shade Enlighten is like an almost white highlighter shade, which for my fair skin, Ugh, I love it so much and it's just the prettiest pearly highlight ever. You can see on the skin here, it just doesn't give you glittery. It's just very delicate. It's beautiful. All right, so I think the base is pretty much complete, but I do want to just mention a product that I am not using right now, but I do use a lot just in my day-to-day -day life. This is their little touch-up kit and I love this so much. It comes with a powder puff and this is pre-loaded with powder. I was confused when I got it. I was like, is my kit missing the powder? Like what's going on here? But this is full of powder. So throughout the day, if you get a little bit shiny, you can just go in with this. And this is full of powder. You can just powder whenever you need and it'll mattify you. And if you aren't a powder girl, you can use these blot sheets for absorbing your oil. This is just so handy to have in the car, in your purse, I have multiples of these because I just love to use them on the go. All right, so let's move on to eyes, shall we? So I do wanna talk about this. I never got into the Rare Beauty eyeshadow palettes, mainly because none of the color stories really spoke to me. I don't know, I just haven't been a huge fan of the shadows that have come out, so I'm gonna do my eyes a little bit different. I'm gonna actually take that bronzer stick and I'm going to apply that in my crease. I'm just going to take a small fluffy brush and pick up some of that cream bronzer. And then I'm just going to run that through my crease and blend in windshield wiper motions. I'm just using a very light hand for this. Why didn't that apply so nicely and why do I like that more than I like it on my cheekbones? This is really pretty as an eyeshadow. Wow, I was not expecting that. You guys, this looks so pretty. This is blending like butter do you guys see how natural that looks i honestly just love to wear a little bit of a warm brown on the lid in the crease like this i love it what do you guys think i'm gonna run that on the lower lash line as well just to tie it all together all right so their eyeshadow palettes i just haven't gotten into but their eyeshadow sticks, these I actually really like and I can't wait to show you what they look like on the lid. I'm going in with the shade Integrity. This is a really pretty champagne color and I just apply it all over the lid and then I blend it out with a kind of flat packer brush and this just looks so gorgeous. It catches the light so pretty. Look at how beautiful that is on the lid and not only that, it's so easy to just apply these and blend them out for a one and done shadow and they last all day long. They are just a really gorgeous wearable metallic. I think these are very beautiful. I applied a little bit of that shade on my lower lash line as well, more so in the inner corner area but i honestly think i'm gonna leave my eyes just like this for now because i'm just really trying to recreate a very natural wearable everyday look so i'm going to move on to eyeliner i have a brand new liquid liner here so i'm going to open that up i'm just gonna shake it really well before applying honestly it's so hard for me to do liner on camera so i'm gonna go do kind of most of it off camera and then come back and give you my thoughts Okay, so I'm back and my liner is fully complete. Sorry, you guys. My setup right now just is not really catered to doing my liner on camera. I have nothing to like balance my arms on and I need that. But anyways, I will tell you what I think about this liner. I personally loved using this liner. It was really easy for me to achieve a very thin kind of baby winged liner, which I like to do. I don't like my liquid liner too thick. It's a brush tip liner rather than a felt tip liner. And I really like brush tip liners. I just find them a lot more forgiving and easier to get more of a precise wing. And this is a very nice black liner. I honestly am going to add it into my regular rotation and see if it dries out quickly because that is the only other thing that I think could possibly be a no-go for this liner. Everything else is 
perfect. I do want to line my tight line. I just feel like when I wear black liner, I want my tight line to be black too. So I'm going in with the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Longwear Gel Eyeliner in the shade True Black. And I have played around with these liners. I tried to do a winged liner with these, but I personally would not use these for winged liner. I would use these in your tight line or waterline, that sort of thing. They last very, very long, but they're not very blendable at all. So if you're trying to do a winged liner and you wanna blend it out, good luck with that. It's probably not gonna work, but I'll show you how this works in the tight line. It's actually really good. So I'm just really blending that winged liner in with the base of my lashes. I'm really getting in there, getting in between every lash to give my lash line a very dark look. So now you can see that my liner and base of my lashes just looks really dark and cohesive and it actually will make your lashes look longer if you do this step. But trust me, it really does pull the look together. It makes your makeup look a lot more just professional and clean. Next, I'm going in with mascara, which is a very popular product from Rare Beauty. Mine is very beat up because I do bring this everywhere with me. I love this mascara. I think it's so good. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my lashes and build it up until I'm happy with it. All right, so this is two coats of that mascara and I just think this is so beautiful. This is not a typical mascara that I would necessarily reach for. Usually on an everyday basis, I go for something a little bit more lengthening and fluttering, but this is very lengthening and volumizing. So you can see this does give a little bit of oomph to my lashes. It's a little bit more on the dramatic side, which I think most people really enjoy, but I love the way this looks. It just makes my lashes look so long and full and especially with this black liquid liner, this really kind of completes the eyes for me. Before moving on to the lips, I wanna talk about brows. So I actually lost my Rare Beauty brow pencil. I have no idea where it went. I didn't get a chance to even use it. I had it and then I didn't have it. And so unfortunately I cannot test their brow pencil, although it looks amazing. I do have this brow gel from Rare Beauty though, and I love this brow gel. It is so, so good. One of the best brow gels I've ever tried, I must say. The brush is nice and tiny, easy to use, and it is very strong holds. You can get a very laminated look with this, but typically I don't do that. I'll show you what I do. So I just brush my brows upwards to give them a little bit of a fluffy look, but not too crazy, nothing laminated, but they do stay in place all day long. It's just, yeah, this is one of Rare Beauty's best products in my opinion. This brow gel would definitely be good for someone who has more stubborn brows. This definitely is a bit stronger hold than the Kosas, which I also love, but you can definitely get more of a laminated look with this. So now moving on to my favorite part, lips. This has gotta be my favorite lip liner from Rare Beauty. This is their Kind Words Matte Lip Liner in the shade Wise specifically. Oh, it's just so good. And I actually was a part of this launch. So Rare Beauty was so kind to fly me out for LA for my first brand trip. And I got to just experience LA for the first time and meet Selena and the Rare Beauty team. And it was just incredible. I'm so humbled and grateful to have been a part of that. It was a very special moment for me. And I will say, having met Selena, she is the nicest, most down-to-earth girl ever. She just took time to make literally everyone there feel seen. She's just, yeah, I can't say enough good things about her. Anyways, I'm going to go in with my lip liner now. This is kind of like a bricky sort of shade. I'm really just gonna focus that on my center of my lip because I don't want this to get too dark and this can be a little bit more intense if you want it to be. This formula is gorgeous. It is so easy to apply, very creamy, not too dry. And for a retractable pencil, I actually really like it because it comes with a sharpener on the end that actually works pretty good. I usually am not a huge fan of retractable lip liners, but I do like these ones. You can see how nicely that works just to add a little bit of volume to the lips. It's very subtle. This look really beautiful as a kind of your lips but better color on someone who is a little bit more of a medium skin tone. For me, I just like to pat it out with my finger to make it look a little softer, but this kind of reminds me of my favorite lip liner, Whirl, just a little bit more on the red side. So although I do love the matte lipsticks that Rare Beauty came out with, my favorite lipstick from them is actually their Dewy Lip Balm. This one is in the shade Praise. This is my favorite because it's a really pretty peachy color. 
Again, this is really beat up because I bring this everywhere with me. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the lips. It is so beautiful. Oh, I just think that shade is so gorgeous. It's a bit of a sheer formula, but it feels pretty hydrating. Sometimes when brands come out with tinted lip balms, they're honestly just lipsticks. They don't feel hydrating, but this one actually feels nourishing on the lips. I also think this color goes so good with the blush. I feel like it's a very kind of cohesive moment. I think it's so pretty. I love matching my lips to my cheeks. To top off the lips, I'm going in with their lip oil. This is also in the shade Joy. I've never actually tried this shade before. I'm just gonna tap that right on top. Ooh, it's pigmented. So I only put on the tiniest little bit of that lip oil and it's very pigmented. This color is actually really pretty, although I will say I don't really feel like this is a lip oil. I feel more like a lip stain and I know these act like a lip stain. So personally, I just don't feel like a lip oil on the lips. But anyways, all that to say, this is quite an impressive product because if you wipe this off of your lips, it does stay and last for a very long time. But even on its own like this, this is very pretty and you can build up the pigment if you want more pigment. I just applied a very little bit, tapped it into my lips, and it's really pretty. To set everything in, I'm using their Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. Mm. And that smells so calming. It kind of is bringing me like, it's kind of transporting me to a spa. I like it. All right, and that's it for this full face makeup tutorial, you guys. What do you think of the finished look? And let me know what you guys wanna see next from Rare Beauty. I know they just came out with a body line, but I really wanna see some powders from Rare Beauty. I wanna see some powder blushes. I think a really pretty matte powder blush collection would do really well. Powder bronzers, um, maybe even a pressed powder. That's what I wanna see from Rare Beauty, but let me know in the comment section down below what you want to see. And also, if you have a favorite product from Rare Beauty, I want to know what it is. Anyways, you guys, if you haven't already, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also hit the bell notification. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.